In this video for the Zora 9000 combo receiver, we're basically going to show you how you can set up a timer menu inside the box to basically um, help you manage your future recordings, okay? So basically to do this, you go into menu and you arrow across and down to um, this uh, system setup menu, okay? You press okay and then you go down to timer setting. Okay, so you'll get a list of timers available to you and what you want to do these basically for, I'm just going to hit the OK button and go into one here. Why you want to use these is basically because on the English channels um, you only have now and next, you can't, you know, reasonably you can't use the EPG to record on the English channels anyway. On the Irish ones it's a different story because you have a 7 day EPG, you can just go to next Wednesday and you know basically mark this for recording and you know Bob's your uncle but on the English channels you can't because as I say you can only see what's on now and next so if there's a program on in two or three hours time you can't do it so this is where this comes in and it's a great little feature on the Zora, uh, the Zora 9000 plus combo receiver is uh, the timer the timer settings okay so basically you want to turn the timer mode um, you have different options you have once daily things like this okay so I'm only going to do it once but you know if you wanted to do it daily something like say you were late home from work every day and you were missing the news or something like this you know you could set it up to record between six and seven you could watch the news then when you come home something like this so the next option is timer service now you have a few couple of different options here you have record and channel okay now if you have this on channel what that means is it's just going to give you a reminder that something's on at that time. It's not going to record it, it's only going to remind you it's on. So it's up to you to flick over and watch it then or whatever. But we're going to leave it at record and that's fine. So the wake up channel is the channel you want to record. So basically I'm just going to go through the list here and I'm going to pick a satellite channel. So just say for instance there I want to record the news, the news at 6 or something like that. That's The wake up date is obviously the date you want this to happen on. So I, I'll say it's today, so that's fine. Now, the on time is the time you want it to start at. So I'm going to say 1800 hours, which is fine. And the duration is 0, 0100, oh, oh, so it's an hour long. And then your last option then is auto standby. Okay, now what you want to do here, because this might be a bit annoying for you if you happen to be if you had a timer setting set for something and you happen to be watching something on a different channel like say you were watching you were recording this on BBC but you happen to be watching something on RTE at the same time if you don't set auto standby to know what will happen is when the recording finishes the box will go into standby which could be annoying if you were actually you know watching something on a different channel so always make sure to say auto standby no although having said that if you were out and you were gone away for the night and something like that and you did want to record you should put it to auto standby because obviously it'll save power and you know you don't want the box running all night because the box will wake itself up um, if you have a recording set so you probably should tell it to go back into standby after it's finished recording you know just to be all eco-friendly and things like this but generally if you're just watching tv and stuff like that you definitely want to say oh standby no and then you just go save and that's it that's uh set up then for um a future recording for me um basically uh, this evening at six o'clock just to record the news on bbc so we've tested this a uh, good bit now and it seems to work fairly well so um that's basically it. So just to get out of the timer setting, then all you have to do is just uh, go back to normal TV by hitting the exit button a few times. So that's it basically, how you can schedule future recordings on the Zora 9000 Plus combo receiver using the timer menu.